Hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet and we are still in the 4th of July event. It's been a new day. We're going to try to see if we can't get something here. It looks like we got some fireworks this time. It's about time. And see if we can't fire off another cannonball. I have not gotten anything off of this yet. I <laughs> still can't. Apparently I can't fire that off just yet but well, we're gonna go ahead and jump in our boat because I did manage to find a different place to catch the historic pike and I only have one left to catch guys one left I will show you where it is I didn't have a chance to finish up last night because it was getting really late I fished until I caught all but one and then I couldn't catch that one. You know how that goes. But we got to get to the far side of the lake. So I will be back, guys. Yeah, as soon as you hear the crickets, you know you've gotten to the right spot. But basically, I was fishing right here where there's like this little point. I don't know what else to call it, but it's basically a place where the reeds stick out. I'm going to go ahead and set my anchor because if you don't... These fish can literally pull you all over the lake. They're pretty powerful. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get our specialty lure out, the Patriotic Walker. Yeah, I threw it way over here, and I caught quite a few of them that way, finally. Caught quite a few other things, too. Wasn't just them. But the walking technique, I've seemed to have gotten it down. It's like you pull and then you reel in. And I can usually get two. Something tells me that these guys would probably be bite better on a peak day, but there's no peaks on rainy days, so We're going to keep trying until we get that last fish. There we go. We got him. This is one too, guys. Definitely. Judging from the way it hit. We got the last one. Yay, 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 yay. There we go. Yeah, you can't really see the tag on this guy very easily. It's actually down closer to his tail. Alright, there we go. Fish tag coordinates. Got it. Looks like these coordinates lead to Emerald Lake. No kidding. 3,000. That's going to help. Now we gotta go over here and try to see what we can do about getting something out of that canoe. Now this may take a while, <laughs> but before I do leave, I want you guys to see real quick. I'm gonna take show you on the map where I am located. I'm actually right down here, and this is the point I'm talking about that I was fishing past. But I was catching them a lot better. Originally I was over here fishing past this point. But I wasn't having as much luck there as I did here. So the walleye are just, in the rain, they're easy. And from what I understand, if you fish for them at night, they're pretty easy to get. So anyway, there you go. Let's go ahead and put our rod away and pull anchor. We'll try to see what we can do about tackling this darn canoe. I don't know. Don't know. So I don't know if it's best to use one of the lures. Maybe you have to use a lure. I don't know. Maybe that's the key. Couldn't tell you. Anyway, we'll go ahead and set anchor here. But let me check my missions here. Let's see. Let's see. 
So cast near the sunken canoe, catch the relic chest. Should be simple enough, wouldn't you think? And you get one of the sword's shards. Alright, let's give it a try. Yeah, I think I'll just use... No, the patriotic probably won't work. Let's try the... Because it doesn't sink, really. This might. So let's try this for a little bit. And if that doesn't work, we'll try something else. Providing we can actually cast. <laughs> there we go. Well, I got snagged on something. Hey, maybe it was... Yep, yeah, I bet you anything. I had to complete those others to get it. That's what it was. I got it. That wasn't hard at all. <laughs> There's my little treasure chest. Actually, I'm going to get a picture of that because... Makes for a good snap. Keep. And I got a piece of the sword. You got the first fragment. And two gold. Alright, let's see. Now, what do we got to do, guys? What do we got to do? We got to go... So we got that. So, let's see. So I've got to go to... A different lake altogether. It looks like I gotta go to Lone Star or Mudwater or Naharan to find the coordinates of the second sunken canoe. Somewhere near the sunken canoe, you can fish out the ancient chest with relics, including a fragment of his sword. So, historic spotted bass, historic crappie white, and historic black crappie. Well, the only place I know that has spotted bass is uh, Lone Star, so that's where we gotta go, guys. Alright, but let's take a good look here before we go on. I wanna take a look at these historic... Got a lot of the northern pikes. I did manage to get my sauger. But the historic walleye, let's, let's see, what was the biggest one I got? It was 5.860. Yeah, see the tag on him? <laughs> That's 1796. Let's look at the uh, historic pike. I caught a good size one. He was 8.457 pounds. That was nothing to sneeze at, I'll tell you. There we go. We gotta go over here. There he is. Yeah, see how that's near the tail? That's why we couldn't see it. That's why we couldn't see it. That'd be a good picture. Alright. Well, I guess we gotta leave. We're gonna have to leave the map. And go on to bigger and better things. Let's see here. I managed to pull in enough cash to pay for the trip. As well as getting all the artifacts that I got. I know I gotta fix that, but it's so expensive. Okay. Well, I completed the first of the missions, so let's go here to Lone Star Lake, and we're going to travel there. Looks like we're in a peak point, so that's good. That's actually real good. And... Let's check our missions. What are we after first here? So spotted bass using the rattlesnake worm. So that I'm going to go back to getting. I'm afraid that I'm hoping that it's not too big. It was a good size jig lure. I mean, it was like, you know, three quarter ounce. 
So we gotta catch that, the historic white crappie, and you gotta get three of these, five of these, and five of these. Ugh. So now we're in the world well the white crappie you could find here. But I think we're gonna have to go somewhere else to get the black crappie. Yeah, there's the spotted bass and there's the white crappie, but yeah, we're gonna have to go to Naharan or someplace like that. Which is alright. Well, let's go ahead and go fishing. We'll get what we can get here. Probably still can't do anything more with that cannon. I managed to catch some more cannonballs, but. I managed to catch some more cannonballs, but I haven't been able to use the cannonball. And I bet it'll say the same thing. Nope. Star Spangled Crankbait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Finally got one. It's about time. About time. I guess you get one shoot per lake, probably. That works for me. I didn't see the flag, did you? Oh yeah, there it is. Let's see if we can get something there too. And we got a hellfish arsonist kit. Awesome sauce. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. This is what we need to use. And you can catch these guys just about anywhere, but we'll try over here because it seems like they're pretty prevalent over here if it's too big I think I can size down a little bit yeah let's let's size this down a little bit I just think it's too big because we got smaller ones let's try a half Mm. Let's try a quarter ounce. It's a little light, but that's all right. We don't ne necessarily need to be worried about that so much. We're not trying to cast clean across the lake. <laughs> We're just trying to cast a little ways to get these guys interested. I might take the speed down to that a little bit too. See, there we go. That was it. I don't know if we got what we're looking for, but... Nope, just a regular spot of bass. And that's going to happen. something. Something's better than nothing. Finally! There we go. Looks like they're going after the Twitch then, guys. Now you can see his tag nice and clear, so... So right over here... Let's try that again. Yeah, usually these guys bite really, really well, but this is not the normal lures that I'm used to used to using. So see, we're just getting a regular one. That was a good size one, though. All things considering. Yeah, the lift and drop and the twitch seem to be the one that gets them.
There we go. Now let's see if it's a regular one or the kind we're needing here. Uh, still a regular one. Well, guys, we finally caught the last one of those guys. Uh, that means that we have got to catch the crappie and the black crappie, white and black. So, let me take a look at the coordinates here. Yep, spotted bass. Now we got to catch a historic white crappie using a firework tube 2 inch. So what do we got to use here? Let's take a look at our inventory. Firework tube 2 inch. And this will probably be... Uh, it may be a little big. Let's try a little bit smaller here. Uh, yeah, let's try that. So we're talking crappie, but we could go down to a 6. Now what does it go down to? Number 4 to 2 aught. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're good. Might even go to the 6 ounce, just to make sure. Yeah. Because crappie, they don't come all that big. And they're not going to be over here by any means. I mean, they might be, but not nearly as much as they would be over on this side. And if we don't have a whole lot of luck with them here, we may end up having to go to Naharan because... Or Mudwater, because I can find them so much easier there. But Naharan's the only one that has both kinds. So, we'll just give this a little try here, and if not, we'll head on to Naharan River for the next episode. Now, stop and go will probably work best for these guys. Yeah, guys, honestly, I think I'm going to go to Naharan. That's just probably going to be better because we're going to have both of the species that we need, and it's not going to cost me anything to leave here, so. Let's go ahead and leave. We managed to get a little bit. And we're going to head off to the Heron River. I'd go to the Mud River, but like I said, they don't have the black crappie there, so. Looks like it's uh, partly cloudy, so the peak of the day is this morning. 